Okay, so friggin' uh, been busier as frig uh, a couple days. Haven't been able to uh, make her out to Inwoods uh, for frig's sake, but uh, we're here today, so friggin' rights. But uh, before I hook up any waters and different things, I gotta sort of drywall uh, the zone here a little bit. So it's on account of you know the water heater will fit right there, and then I gotta put the meter in so I don't want to have to try to drywall behind that when it's already you know mapped up, but. A little unorthodox uh, situation over here so somebody mentioned friggin uh, just frame her in so that's what I did more more better less on better so that's Osmer's frig and that antler in the floor was right in my road so I sawed her off with my with my this thing it uh, worked pretty good kind of melted a little bit but not too bad not too bad so that thing's uh, pretty handy it's like a little antler onto it this is the one that I've been using for a little drywall cut around the box and stuff makes life a little easier and I got a box of poop and uh, different things poop and tape yeah but check this out an instant mud jug machine it's got like hot right ready to chooch yeah so friggin right so I already drank like friggin half a friggin 20 liter chooch of mud jugs already for its sake I love a thousand mud jugs, but uh, anyways, enough frigging around. I gotta get some stuff done here for frig's sake. So you see that wire right there? That's for uh, to read the water meter. So I just got it chooched across there because I gotta sort of insulate the ceiling as I go and uh, stuff because it'll be kind of hard to sort of get the wampus zone up in there if it's all closed in already for frig's sake. So I gotta insulate that and then put the piece of drywall in. Yeah. Oh, I hate insulations, freak's sake. That makes your mouth all crunchy. Yuck. Oh, friggin' rights. Look at Pug Wango, master of all that is dickered, freak's sake. Oh, so that's where we're at. We would have a break for lunch here for a minute. I had to cut a little articulator up, but I'm just gonna leave that open because uh, that's the way I did her. And uh, I gotta drill a hole in the wall here in accordance with the where the friggin outside water situation is going to happen here and then the water meters are going to put a cup tube first across there across there and then that's where the water meter gets dropped to and then it'll 90 to a T with an outside chooch and then continue on with a what's it and down into the what's it and then attach into these antlers and then that's more ossimer yeah so my drill bit on uh, crawdad's uh, drill there uh, wasn't quite long enough so I was thinking about cutting it in half and stending it with like a piece of bar, but crawdad would probably get pretty choked. So I had to come up with plan L. So I drilled through in the inside where I wanted it. And then, so I measured over sort of from the window for image area to over here. And then I stuck a little wire through there to sort of make sure that I'm matched up with the zone and different things. So now I can hug through with the big one and know that I'm relatively in the proper vicinity. Yeah. Oh, friggin' rights, boys, we did it. Yeah. Well, this is just awesome. I just got the friggin' water math just temporarily chooched onto the tube for there, for frig's sake. But uh, I uh, went and I picked up a bunch of stuff the other day. And, you know, I was supposed to have a 90 from there, you know, to go over to here. And then it'll tee down into that antler. And then that's the shutoff for the outside chooch. And then it'll come across. And then another 90. And then it'll come across to this guy here, which we'll get the three quarter and then turn it into half at the water heater and then it you know tees off to the cold water and then the cold water down into the water heater cold water up into the taps and then you know obviously the the other uh, one of these here antlers will stab into the hot side of the water heater and different things but uh i forgot two 90s two three quarter inch 90s i got bags of friggin half inch tees and half inch 90s and half inch stove pipers and half inch friggin strap antlers and different things but no tree quarter frig sake so anyway that pretty near cocked me over for today boys I uh, might shoot out and grab one but I don't know it's kind of crappy outside I might like that kind so anyways program's cocked I uh, need to pick up a couple what's it's for tomorrow and different things and, uh, and then we can get all the pieces all cut and different things so it's on account I can just solder them all up uh, and when they all fit and different things but uh, it's not going to happen today boys for frig's sake so uh, anyways beg my pardon and we cheese so until tomorrow don't let the watchers get you